Hey, what's good? It's a new vlog, but it's not a new day. <laughs> Last time you were seeing me, I had just put my beautiful fan Hope through her MOT and she... She passed with flying colours. The day has passed now, but as you can see, I'm still super excited about that. <sighs> what a turn of events. <laughs> now, that dread is out the way. I'm now fully moved in to Hope full time. I'm a full time van lifer from today. I'm scared. <laughs> Well, I'm excited. I'm so 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 excited, but oh, so much anxiety that comes along with this choice. Tonight's my first world camp night in the Moho. I'm actually not too far from home, and right in the centre, pretty much, of Chai. So I will show you where I'm parked because if you are in Chichester, this is a really good little spot out the way. I'm about a ten minute walk from the town centre so I mean probably not even that to be honest depends how fast you walk I'm pretty close I'm 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 in it you know I parked here earlier when the ticket in the car park ran out and I've just walked back over because I went home and it's free after five here until eight in the morning which is all right but I'll probably leave a little bit earlier than eight because I don't know <laughs> I'm still on edge <laughs> I have got all my blinds shut I haven't got my thermal blinds up either I've just got the uh, curtain. I didn't know if that was going to be more sus, like someone sleeping in it, if I had the thermal blinds up. I don't know. What do you guys do? Because I don't know if that just seems more like suspect than just a parked vehicle. If you get me. Do you get me? So I don't know. I haven't put them on. <laughs> well, I probably need it because it's a sweat box. <laughs> just myself like coffee. They are so good, so addictive. <laughs> but um, it's nice and cold. <laughs> and this all stayed intact. I'm happy about that. The R of bungee rope wrapping. So I'll just give you a quick little tour outside. I don't know if I'm being really obvious, like walking around in here and I don't know. It's just all new, it's all new. You guys are gonna have to just give me some advice and some tips, I think. This is my spot of choice. Um, It's very quiet. And just up that road, go up this road and then go left. You're in town centre. So, pretty much. Oh, she looks so beautiful. Now I've taken her off the drive. Oh my goodness. Look how cute she is. <laughs> She's whiter than that house. <laughs> I think I'd be right here. I'm not like outside anyone's house. So, this side is a wall, side of a house, and that side is side of a house and then it's pretty quiet. So, and it's like six o'clock, so I think I'm gonna be okay here tonight. I think it's gonna be nice and peaceful. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I mean, you can't see in, can you? It's not obvious. I mean, me walking around with the camera's probably more obvious. But blinds are down. Can't see a thing. Yeah, I'll be all right. That's okay, isn't it? So yeah, the name of this road, for anyone interested in future reference. Truxton Close in Chichester. Hey, it's a lot later in the evening now. Yes, I'm looking rather silly because I bought these blue light glasses <laughs> from Sheen. I don't really know if they're doing anything to be honest, but I thought I should protect the eyes because I'm always looking at computers. Because I'm always looking at computers. I've been just editing some vlogs for ya. Um, just trying to keep the volume down a little bit because I'm still a bit apprehensive. I have got a few human detected notifications on my phone from the CCTV cameras. Um, are not many, about six, and it's now nine o'clock. <laughs> One of them was me. Um, <laughs> so it is very quiet here, which is good. I have already eaten, um, so I won't be making dinner. It was earlier this evening before I got here, and I don't really have any food in <laughs> in the morning i'm gonna go to the gym do a little workout have a shower do me number twos <laughs> i've got a scheduled number two at about seven o'clock every single morning so um yeah <laughs> i need to try and uh, rearrange that 
if possible. What's discussing bowel movements between friends anyway? <laughs> so I'm gonna carry on here for a little while, um, get in pyjamas and then probably try and watch some telly. I have moved the router because it was in my electric cupboard and I wasn't really getting very good signal. I did blame the area, just today isn't the best for internet, but I've now put up the dash and it's much better. Little tip for you guys. So I'll see you in a little bit when I'm all cozy. I will say also, Obviously I'm sat here with all my blinds shut. It's still light outside and I'm really not a big fan of that. But I can't exactly sit here with everyone just like looking in. Um, so I need to find some nice uh, private, quiet park ups uh, with a view or something because I feel like I'm going to get a bit of cabin fever when it's like this a lot. But I know, it's, it's day one, I'm just thinking ahead. Okay. <laughs> These glasses really don't look good on me, do they? I'm ready to go to bed now. I have decided to put the film blinds up because as soon as I pull back this curtain, obviously people will just see straight through and I need to pull back the curtain to get my bed ready, get the piano off, get the stool up. Um, so that's much better. I feel a bit better about that. I just wish that I did it a lot earlier because I was just mega paranoid that that um as people could see me and it's just falling down. Oh no. It's falling down. This is what I mean. I don't like it. I don't like it. Now I'm stuck. Oh gosh. <laughs> I mean <laughs> just oh, I should have done it earlier maybe not straight away but definitely earlier than like half ten at night so bear that in mind feeling a bit anxious now that I'm gonna go to sleep I was all right when I was awake and just chilling this year now it's later because I think more people like walking home from things I don't know it's a Friday night I'm hearing more cars and stuff but yeah I just assume I assume people are just on their way home. Oh no, I'm just feeling anxious now. I've got to go to sleep. But I have to go to sleep. I'm gonna do it. I will see you in the morning and let you know how I got on. Good morning. Uh, it's about six or ten to six or something. I actually slept really, really well. I did probably have that I was tired. But as soon as I got into bed, like, I wasn't bothered. I just went straight to sleep pretty much and I slept all the way through. <laughs> Although, one point in the night I did forget where I was and I woke up and smacked my head on the ceiling. But other than that, I had a great night's sleep. I do have till eight here, but I'm thinking if I'm gonna go to the gym, then I should probably get moving because I'm probably gonna struggle to get space if I leave it too long. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna get everything secured down and drive to the gym now and then I can tidy up, have a coffee while I'm at the gym and then do my workout and then take it from there. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> I did feel kind of bad starting the engine in that residential area at six o'clock in the morning. I forget how much of a beast Little Hope is. <laughs> but I'm at the gym and I'm glad I came this time because it's starting to fill up. Uh, there's lots of spaces around the back, but I'm happy with this. I'll show you where I've parked. I'm still like, I'm not sure about the parking situation because obviously I don't fit in the space. So I've gone on like the back row and I'm overhanging, of course, but I'm try I've tried to pick a space that's not going to be an, an obstruction to anyone. Um, I'll show you. <laughs> so I'm overhanging at the back like that. Is that allowed? I suppose it has to be, doesn't it? What else can I do? Um, it's a pathway, so I kind of parked there and try and get anyone else to avoid parking next to me. And then all these people can see, can't they? If they're parked there. This is my question in question. But yeah, it's gonna be a glorious day. I'm gonna have that coffee now. <laughs> Hello. 
I'm gonna finish my coffee. I'm gonna go and have a workout, a shower, a number two. <laughs> and uh, then come back here and then decide where I'm gonna go because I don't wanna stay here too long. There's a sign that says it's for gym members only, which I guess I am, but um, there's nothing about overnight staying or any of that so I don't know I could stay here a bit longer I see how I feel but I know it's gonna get really busy soon I don't want to take the mic I don't want to steal a space for somebody else either because that's inconsiderate um but yeah I will say I hate sitting in here again I'm gonna say it again with all the blinds closed I know like you kind of have to don't you but there's one thing I loved about this fan is that all the big windows and I'm just like sat in the dark what am I gonna do about that I guess I just need to find a nice space where it's like acceptable to be sitting in your motor home in the daytime and then obviously drive off and not sleep there because i can't really do it in the car park because i don't know who's watching i know i'm probably maybe being i'm being too paranoid or maybe you just can't be paranoid enough i don't know it's early days for me so i have no idea so far my first night <laughs> Wild camping has been quite successful. I mean, it's the morning now, it's the next day. I didn't die, I didn't get murdered. I do have a hammer as a weapon and a useful tool. <laughs> I probably feel like I'm gonna just get hit by my own hammer one day by intruder. I mean, don't they say that about weapons? That's why I'm going to gym. I'll be my own weapon. <laughs> So I'm back from the gym, had a nice shower, feeling fresh, and I did a little bit of a tidy, washed my mug up from this morning, etc, etc. And I'm actually feeling quite good. I have opened the blinds a little bit everywhere, just slightly. If I'm going to be sat in here in the daytime, I, I don't know, doing some work or whatever, I need to find somewhere with a nice view. So I'm going to do a bit of research. If you guys know any, then do let me know. Um, if you've got any good little spots in mind, that would be awesome. Actually going to pop over the road, as I believe there is four hours free parking at the range. So I'm going to head over there, I'm going to park it up, and then I'm going to go for a little walk to town, um, just to get out of the house. <laughs> First night while camping went well. I feel so much more safe and secure in this mile home than I ever did in my micro camper. So I'm pleased with that. It's just a lot to get used to, but there's time. <laughs> and of course I've got you guys to help me out along the way. I'm gonna end this week's vlog here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you very, very soon for another vlog. Stay groovy. Goodbye, you beauts. Mwah.